Today, we're going to be talking about interstitial lung disease. Interstitial lung disease encompasses a large number of heterogeneous conditions that are characterized by variable amounts of inflammation and or fibrosis. So you can have some of these conditions that are mostly just inflammation, others that are just fibrosis. Even though there are 150 plus different causes, many of these interstitial lung diseases share common uh, CT findings, physiologic changing, changes, pathologic manifestations, and each of them has, can have a variable course. Some of them have a, a rather poor prognosis, other ones are, can be entirely reversible. So there's a wide spectrum in terms of these different diseases in terms of the manifestations and potential outcomes. Some of them can carry significant morbidity as well as mortality, and for most of them, there's little consensus on the best forms of management. So what is interstitial lung disease? It's, a, it's variable diseases that involve the interstitium of the lung. So it doesn't they don't necessarily involve the alveolar air spaces, although there can be some involvement of the alveolar air spaces, but that fine lattice work that constitutes the interstitium of the lung is the primary area where the disease manifests. And typically you can see this on, on chest x-ray, you can see it more in, in greater detail on a chest CT, and it involves both lungs diffusely. Uh, sometimes upper lobes might be more involved, sometimes the lower lobes, but invariably it is a, diff, a form of diffuse parenchymal lung disease. On this slide we have a demonstration pathologically of what normal alveolar look like, and to the right we have changes that might be seen with various forms of interstitial lung disease where there's diffuse fibrotic changes present through the lung. 